So I'm trying to work out a way to show you the leak that I've got in my garage roof. We thought we could do this like some kind of Mr. Beast video, but I'm not sure that Mr. Beast would do a video about fixing the garage roof. So the problem's in here, the problem's just up here, where I get... What? I don't know if you just heard that, but the 40 inch television has arrived. I, I thought it was a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. We won something on Lidl. <laughs> I honestly thought that was a scam. Okay, sorry about that interruption. Anyway, I've got water coming into the, the concrete garage and it drips. When it rains heavily, it drips there and it just runs down onto, well, we've kind of tried to clear the area, but look, you can probably see well, there's water in there from the last shower. We have to empty it out all the time. Whoa. So the plan is this, I want to show you the leak. Um, so I'm going to put my son on the roof with a watering can to show you. So I've sent my son up because I'm trying to keep him off the console. Right, so here's the watering can. There you go. It's really heavy. I know. Let some out. Wait. Oh, it's going to pour on me, it's going to pour on me. <laughs> well done. Uh, just where that crack is, can you just put a little bit in? So this is the roof. Usually the the drip is about here. Wait, there you go. That's enough, thanks. So that's the drip. Can you see it? Oh, it's going everywhere, look. That's enough, Joe. Don't, don't do any more. So today I'm going to try and fix that. This is the Dad Delivers vlog where I try and do something new every day. And today I'm going to try to repair my garage roof. And to do that, I got this from Amazon. Not this. We got this. It's just arrived. Can you pull the box? So this is called All Weather Roofing Compound. It's got all kinds of names on Amazon. Uh, tar, roof tar. I did a search on bitumen. Bitumen! And it came up with this All Weather Roofing Compound. I have no idea if this is the right stuff for my concrete roof. Obviously, I'm worried this is going to be a big mess and it's not going to work. And oh, I'm also worried that I'm going to fall off this ladder. I've got a camera set up there, so let's see how this goes. I've got a screwdriver. Whoa. Now, I feel like I've got to pour it in the hole, but it says on the instructions to use a brush. putting it on the concrete. I need to put it in where the tar has failed. So I'm trying to make it go blobby on where the felt meets the concrete roof. It's definitely going to need a couple of coats. So I'm right on this side. That already looks like it will dry and seal it. I need something to stop it dribbling down. So the patch is repaired, I think. I just need the tar to dry in the sunshine. Do the can up and wait for the next thunderstorm. It is 11 o'clock at night. It is really heavy thunderstorms. I don't know if you can see this. I don't even know if you can hear me. But I've left it for about a week. I think it's nearer two weeks. And I just want to see if the first bitumen layer has held. So let's have a look. Oh no. It's coming through. In fact, I think it's coming through worse than it was before. Oh man. Look, the bucket is, <laughs> the bucket is already full. Let's empty this. So I think I'm going to need to majorly rethink this. I don't know what else I can do. Um, 
apart from put more buckets up. I mean, it just looks worse, I think, if anything. It might be because we lifted the, the roof to paint it properly. It's just exposed more of it to the, to the rain. Yeah, the, the treatment didn't work. So I'm gonna to have to do it again. It's now October. So we're now six months on from starting this project and uh, that tin has been on the roof for the entire summer. Today's literally the very last day where the weather's like this. It's now rain from now till next year. So I've got to do this today. I don't know what I'm going to do differently, but uh, I do know that I'm going to ruin this watering can and this brush and maybe another brush as well if that's too stiff. I've got a camera up here in my daughter's bedroom so I'm going to stick this out the window and be able to see me on the roof. Oh, do it all over again. I'm going to have to pour more on, a lot more I think. My biggest worry is that I'm going to make a really big mess. It's the trouble with doing DIY when the whole family's out. If something terrible happens. <laughs> it's going to be a while before they come back. I know the leak or the hole in the roof covering is around here somewhere. I just have no idea where. Sort of hoping that I could see somewhere obvious that needs fixing. But to me, all of this needs fixing. I think it's here somewhere. Let's open up the can of tar. It's still looking good after six months of not being used. And I'm trying something different this time. I'm pouring it all over the roof to act like the puddles of rainwater. If this leaks in, hopefully the tar will follow the path that the water follows, except this time it will fill the holes causing the leak. But I need to be sure I'm spreading it around as much as possible. I'm using the broom to brush it around and fill every possible hole and crack that's causing the leak. I'm also kind of pushing it away from the edge so it doesn't just run off the side of the building. It's a bit messy and it's very hit or miss. I think that I'm going to need to put a lot more on. This is how I'm leaving it on the roof. I've let the liquid pool in the same areas that the rainwater goes and just hoping now that it will dry before the next rainstorm comes. Big time jump is a few days later and this is our first storm since sealing the roof. Uh, I don't know if you can see the rain, it's about to break my very expensive camera. It is quite heavy. Let's go inside, MOT moment of truth let's see if the roof has held this was the light that it was dripping from before i can't see anything at all i think i've completely done it i'm calling this a dad delivers success <laughs> that is amazing oh, i'm so pleased because usually these buckets would be dripping and they'd be, they'd be full but look it's completely empty not a drop thanks for sticking with it this far into the video if you have reached this point thank you for being awesome and hitting a thumbs up it, it means a lot to me and right here is what youtube knows you're going to love to watch next can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers just click on his face thanks bye all right this is going to be the proper one mate